thank you, Mr. Chairman, for, for having this markup. And before I state what my amendment does, I, I really want to take the opportunity to provide some background on the enormous frustration that the people of North Dakota have had with the Fish and Wildlife Service, okay? Put simply, the Fish and Wildlife Service is the textbook example of an intransigent bureaucracy which is more interested in its own self-interest than the interests of the, uh, the citizens of, of this country, frankly, more interested in their self-interest than they are in, in their, their mission. Since I came to Congress in 2013, I have heard not from a few, not from dozens, literally hundreds, hundreds of landowners in North Dakota who have had nothing but bad experiences with the Fish and Wildlife Service under every type of administration. Their experience has been disastrous. They've, they've had their private property rights trampled on, their personal rights trampled on, they've had their, their personal uh, safety trampled on by gun-toting, bulletproof vest-wearing, you know, SWAT teams that are really biologists pretending to be tough guys, and, uh, and their livelihoods, and one, in some cases literally driven to bankruptcy by zealots in the Fish and Wildlife Service. In other words, I have very little faith in the Fish and Wildlife Service. And in an attempt to work with them, I have voted for Republicans and Democrats uh, in the Department of Interior uh, to include um, Fish and Wildlife Service directors and undersecretaries and deputy secretaries. And so this brings us today to, to this you know, bill. And um, this Recovering America's Wildlife Action is a bill that I was an original co-sponsor of, along with six, 16 Democrats and 15 other Republicans. I got on this bill because it sent funding to state, I emphasize, state fish and wildlife agencies to proactively, and I stress proactively, address and keep species off, I stress off the Endangered Species Act lists, should be the goal of every conservationist in the world. It's st instead, we see, we see from our federal bureaucracy and, and, and some of their stakeholders this desire to keep critters on the endangered species list. Never I've never understood it. So when Senator Blunt and Heinrich brought this to me, I said, this makes sense. It emphasizes what, state, what's on, what states can do. And, and, and they're more, more responsive to their constituents, more nimble. Frankly, they're more uh, attuned to um, the situation in front of them. Instead, and this, Mr. Chairman, is why I voted no on, this, on the substitute that creates the bill that's in front of us. It, it reduces the money going to states and instead shifts it over to the very people who say, if you just give us more money, we can do better for you. Just give us more money and we can respond in a, in a, in a faster way. Forgive my skepticism and the skepticism of the people of North Dakota, but I am so tired of bureaucrats who say, if you just give us more, we could help the landowners more. I don't care how fast they do it or how slowly they do it, the outcome's never right. I have yet to have an appeal, for example, on a waterfall production area appeal ever go the landowner's way. Not under the previous administration, in fact, under this administration, literally, um, Dozens of, of, of appeals have never been acted on. In fact, a letter sent by farmers uh, over a year ago to the director has never even been returned, has never been responded to. So I don't see how giving them more money to not work helps my landowners. So with that, uh, again, I want to applaud Senators Heinrich and Blunt and, and the people that got on this bill and made it a very, very good bill before today. But this, isn't, this is not that bill. So my amendment's simple. It simply strips the substitute, returns the bill to its original form, which is what I and many others on the committee signed on to, and uh, I urge my colleagues to join me in supporting my amendment to remove the substitute, return the bill, and uh, to its evenly bipartisan form. With that, uh, I yield and thank you.